What's good? It's your boy G-Kid back at it again with another video. Let's jump into it. So what I want to talk to you today about is definitely how to financially move out of your parents' house, right? Now, a lot of people show you how to move out, but I'm going to show you financially what you need to do in order to move out of your parents' house. First things you want to do. If you're new to the channel, what I like to do is personal finance videos, money goal tips, and on top of that, watch me go through my debt-free journey. So let's jump into it. So first thing first, what you definitely need is a budget. I talk about this so often on the channel. A budget is so important because this is gonna tell you exactly where your money is going, right? Let's say you holding on to this cash or you got money in a bank account. You need to know where this money is going, especially as it comes into your bank account, right? And the budget is gonna help you do that. If you have not watched any of my previous videos about a budget, check those out because it's gonna show you different ways of how to budget your money and then make sure that you can move out of your parents' house financially sound. So let's talk about it. You got money. Let's say you got $1,000 coming in and let's say it's coming in every two weeks. That's two grand a month, right? Now when you move out, you need to make sure that you have this $2,000 that's coming in a month allocated towards certain bills, right? So let's say you got student loan payment, right? Let's say you got car payment. Let's say you got your rent, right? Or wherever you're gonna stay. You need to make sure that you account for that money before it even comes in. So once the money does come in, you know exactly where it's going. You're not going to Starbucks. You're not spending money on crazy things before you know that you have enough money for rent. This is going to help you in order to move out and stay financially sound, right? Now, the big thing that this budget is going to do for you is make sure that you can cover all of your bills once you move out. Now, there's a big tip here. If you were thinking about moving somewhere, you're not sure what the energy bill might be or the gas or electric, a lot of companies you can call up, give them a, a address of where you're thinking of moving and they can give you just about an average of how much that is gonna actually cost you for utilities there. That's a bonus tip right there. That allows you to put it into your budget and see exactly how much that's gonna cost you and make sure that you can actually even afford the place that you're looking at. Because you might think you can afford a nice place, nice luxury town home, you're chilling in there, it's nice. But in reality, you might be having to get one that's uh, not as nice. So this is gonna help you and it's gonna help you get your budget in order. Now, next up here, what I wanna talk about is you definitely, 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 definitely wanna make sure that you save up enough money in your emergency fund in order to move out and if something happens worst case scenario you can still manage your rent for at least three four and a lot of people save up to six months worth of expenses so that way if something happens you're good for a half a year and you don't have to worry about paying rent you don't have to worry about that that car payment you don't have to worry about all those things because all that stuff starts to add up when you're not at home with your parents so that's a bonus tip when you're at home Make sure to save up that money so that way when you move out, something happens, you're not running back home to mom and dad. Now next up here, a lot of places, right, they require you to make a certain amount of income once you move out, right? So a lot of them go off this two and a half times or three times monthly rent. Now when you move somewhere, so let's say that they go off your monthly rent, right, and it's $1,200. So 1200 times three is $3,600, right? And now you put that in together and if you don't make $3,600 a month in income, well, they're not going to approve you for that place. So you need to make sure that you make anywhere from that average range of that two and a half times to three times the monthly rent. Now this brings us to the next point. So once you're trying to move out and you're looking at these places, what they're going to do is they're going to pull a credit check, right? This is really big because if you are not paying attention to your credit, you need to build your credit. Because once you go to say, I want to move out of my parents' house and your credit isn't there, it's going to be a little rough getting into places that you really like. Because a lot of those nice places that you want to move into and rent out, man, they want you to have some good credit. It eases their, their risk or their risk profile that they are looking at and saying that this person has been paying their debts. So we don't have to worry about them paying us because we know that they got a good credit score and they've been paying their debts in the past on time. So it makes them feel a little bit more comfortable and it might get you into a places that you really like. Now next up here is what I wanna say is make sure you have a moving plan, right? So if you're gonna move out, make sure you save up some money that you can use to actually move. A lot of people don't think about this, but you might be just in your bedroom, right? And you got a lot of things in there. You got your computer, laptop, your desk, you got all these different things in your bedroom. And when you go to move, 
you need to move all of this stuff, right? And if your parents are of a higher age, they might not be able to help you lift these things. So you might have to ask a friend to come help you move or move out. If you know some friends with some pickup trucks, now's the time to buy them some pizza and some beer. We actually hired a moving company to move my girl's stuff. And then for myself, I actually, we moved all of that stuff ourselves personally. She had a lot of heavy furniture at her place and I just had stuff that I could just throw in the vehicle and move it over here easily. You just need to make sure you have a moving plan, enough saved up. If you need to get a U-Haul truck or something like that, make sure you got the money saved up. Don't dip into that emergency fund. It's not an emergency. You know it's coming. And then last but not least, yo, thanks for my parents. They gave me this one tip here. If you're looking for furniture, right, a lot of places allow you to put that furniture away and pay down on it over time. So let's say you know you're gonna move out six months from now, right? Take that furniture that you really like and you know you're gonna want this kind of place, this kind of layout, things like that. Let's say you need a bed or a mattress, things of that nature. You can actually go there, put it on what's called like a layaway, pay it down, and I'm not talking about those loans that they have. I'm talking about having them hold it. You pay down on it. And then when it's time to go pick it up, you go there and pick it up. Sometimes they may be out of that unit, right? So the, the item that you looked at, they may not have but the money that you put down is still good with them, right? You take that and you can take it to your new place with you and now you have furniture there and you've been paying it off over these couple of months and then now you got furniture that's fully paid off and you never even have to take a loan for it. A lot of companies do this because this ensures that you're gonna come back, pay on that unit and take that inventory off their hands. Another thing here is you can get a storage facility, right? So if you know you're gonna move out in six months, right? And you get a storage facility, you can go and buy furniture wrap it all up throw it in the storage facility so that way when it's time to move you got your u-haul truck you grab all the things out of your room go to the storage unit grab all your things out of there shoot right over to the new apartment and throw it in brand new fresh furniture day number one now this just helps you plan out a little bit further of how you're going to move and spread out those those this is gonna help you spread out those costs so when you move, it's a little bit easier on you. It's not just a big financial hit. You've been preparing yourself for months for this opportunity. You can follow all of these tips, whether you're moving in state or you're moving out of state. And this is gonna help you, especially for those people, if you get that storage unit and you put your furniture there and you already have it going there or you say that they hold that furniture for you and you don't even live in that state, it's just gonna make it that much easier. Cause as soon as you move to that state, you're gonna have furniture. You ain't gotta worry about somebody helping you move. It's just gonna be that much easier. Anyways, it is your boy G Kid. Make sure to hit that like button. Hit the subscribe button if you like some of the tips in this video and it's helped you out a little bit. But make sure to let me know. Hit that comment, subscribe, holla at your boy. Make sure to hit that like button. I can't wait to see you in the next video. Peace.